Hello ladies and gents, I'm the Beanie 101 and you're watching some more XCOM Enemy Within. Thank you ever so much for watching again. We have an exalt mission, we have a covert operative that we need to extract, and so we're now going to pick a team who we think is going to do that. And what we have is Nikki CB, Bazinga Baby, Johnny Micmac, we've got a rookie in Panagakos, I think, we've got Doug Sheehan and we've got Dead Drop. Away we go. It's a nice little mix of a team. We've got some uh, some experience in there with our sniper. Uh, we've got some up and coming stars with Bazinga Baby and Doug Sheehan, and not forgetting Dead Drop, who was cracking last mission, so does deserve another chance, I think, to get that next rank up. And this is Operation Rotting Apollo. It's a data recovery mission. We've done a handful of these before so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'm hoping not because I've brought a rookie along with me but we will have to wait and see. Here we go. Now what sort of map do we have? To transmit the data they'd acquired when Exalt forces moved into their AO. The encoder is currently shielding oh, our wow. transmitter's position, but if Exalt manages to hack the encoder, they'll be able to locate the transmitter. If they hack both, any hope we had of recovering the data intact will be lost. This is interesting. Objective. I don't think I've done this map on an Exalt mission before. We haven't we haven't seen this map before, have we? I don't like the fact that the transmitter is right in the middle of a petrol station. It means one stray bullets or grenades and, and your toast. Now do I want to stick some people up on the roof and get a height advantage or do I just want to stick people right in the middle get them right into the action? Hmm. On the move. We can head skywards and take things from there. And next up is our rookie, Sophia Panagakos, I think. Roger, Dodger. So let's make sure that these guys get into full cover. I don't think there's going to be any Exalt enemies that are going to uh, make themselves known to us until the end of our first turn. That seems to be how these missions work so far. Dead drop. He needs to get in a good position, nice and out in the open, so that he can chuck some rockets the way of the enemies. So, here looks as good a place as any. Oh, it's Nikki CB, sorry. Our assault, Doug Sheehan, who has pretty damn good aim stats for an assault. We want to get him right into the thick of the action. And dead drop, maybe you can join Micmac up on the roof. Location Rockets from above, sounds like a deadly combination. And now we wait for the Exalt to show themselves. Oh no, we've got uh, Dhruv Gupta, our covert operative. He needs to just stick himself in full cover. Ah, oh, balls. That's unfortunate. If there was one time that I didn't want enemies to uncover themselves, it was on the very last move of my turn, and I'm flanked. So I need to move this guy ASAP. This could get a little bit sticky. Uh, I think this is probably the best place for him. It stops him being flanked, but he's still going to be a pretty easy target. The Exalt are just going to charge into this area. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, I have people out in the open here. This is bad. Commander, Exalt forces are in position to hack the encoder. If we don't secure that equipment, they'll be able to locate the transmitter. And he's chucked smoke. So I need to get over there really quickly. I... I don't know if I blow things up, because it's a petrol station, right? It's a gas station. So if I use grenades and if I use rockets, is that going to blow up the encoder and do I lose the mission? I mean, I know I've got to defend the transmitter as well, 70%. Oh, do I take it? 
I'm going to wait one moment because I think, uh, well, I don't think. I'm pretty much guaranteed that Johnny McMack is going to have a better shot than 70%. But he definitely needs to get into cover because he's flanked at the moment, which means he can't use his sniper rifles, which is a shame because it's a 100% shot. His laser pistol, however, does up to five damage, and so I can't kill anybody, but I can whittle them down. This guy is my immediate danger, so he's taking a face full of pistol. The Bazinga Baby has a shot, but it's a 1% shot because the guy's in smoke and in full cover, so that's no good. Our rookie, we need to protect a little bit, but she wants to get stuck into the action. So 15%, that's still a terrible shot. Mm. Do I want to take the 15% shot or do I want to try and blow shit up? I can't reach. I don't think. How far can this stretch? Does it reach? Does it reach? Oh, oh, I think I can, I think I can get his cover, but I can't get him. There we go, there's his cover, and because it's blown up, it's caused him six damage, so that would have been more than the grenade anyway, and it's still only a 37% chance. Shocking. Maybe Drew of Gupta can have a better shot. 70%. Come on, dead drop. Nice. As if you would ever miss. As if you would ever miss. Nikki CB has an... Mm. What about Doug Sheehan? Can he run and gun right into the middle of this action? He can't get into any cover. Okay, he's a bit too far away. Bazinga baby can get into full cover but can't do anything once she's there so do I want to do that I think Nikki CB is the better option and I'll tell you why she has more health so she can absorb a couple of hits oh man she's who's she flanked by is there someone that oh no she's flanking someone ignore me So I've got a couple more moves to go. Uh, Doug Sheehan, I'm going to run and gun and over... Oh. Maybe I overwatch, maybe I don't. Maybe I... Does he have a shot here? He does. 62% or 58. I'm going to go for the 50... Sorry, the 60... He didn't smash those doors. Oh, and he missed anyway. Never mind, Doug. So it's left to our covert operative who can't see shit. But he doesn't have the danger of being flanked now, so he could take a pistol shot. 64%, 81%. I think I'm going to take the 81. Five damage, nice. And one more chance. 37% is not good. I kind of want to see if I can protect these guys. So let's go for a smoke grenade. And the Russian temptress that is Bazinga Baby provides some cover. God damn, these guys regenerate? Well, since when was that a move that they pulled off? Ouch, that hurt. That hurt a lot. So I really need to get into this area and, and protect it because oh, he's healed himself all the way up. Clever boy. I may be able to get Micmac into a position to cause some serious damage. 100%, 100%. Let's take the guy out that I know is going to die. And then we're left with just one enemy. Well, until we finish our turn anyway. Dead Drop can pop the other side of this uh, advertising hoarding. And 80%. That's nice. 
That is very nice. This height advantage is a good place to be. So I think we'll keep these two guys up here now. Drove Gupta. What I'm looking for now is the uh, transmitters that you can use to hack to stop the enemy's turn. So there's one there uh, and there's one here. Is that it? Is it just the two? So I want to try and move our cover operative towards one of those so that I can disrupt their turn at least once. Uh, yeah, there's no point in dashing there. That's a silly move. Doug Sheehan, a 58% shot. Maybe Gupta can have a better chance at this. What are you? 96. Wow, that's a strong shot. And Gupta has earned a promotion. Danger over, lads and ladies. Let's get in there. Let's make sure they can't hack anymore. And Bazinga Baby... Uh, where can you go? I'm, I'm not the greatest fan of <laughs> being behind the cars. Just because they have a tendency to explode. But if we get Doug Sheehan in here, then that is going to protect the encoder area. And I think I've got enough firepower to oversee any problems that we might come up against. We'll see what little tricks the Exalt guys have got up their sleeves, though. Here they come. Oof. That is a fantastic Overwatch shot. Well done, rookie. And there's another transmitter over there as well. What are these guys going to do? Come on. Another Overwatch shot. That's Nikki CB with that Overwatch shot. Oh, and there's more. See, now this looks like a really good idea for a well-placed rocket. So, first things first. Let's get Dhruv Gupta over here because... He can stand here and he can hack. And the Exalt are now in trouble. may be able to access the system and disable Exalt communications using the recovered data's encryption keys. 55% is not great. It'll take some time for them to So I think. Oh, 75 is not bad though. Let's try the 75% chance shots. I think. I'm going to use the pistol, though, to save on ammo. Brilliant. And with a little bit of luck, our rookie should have enough experience to level up after that. They usually only need one kill. Bazinga Baby. A 39% is not really very good. And the other guy's in full cover, so let's just overwatch for their next turn. Because they're going to have to move and reload. They can't shoot me this turn. Gupta, 93% chance. Yeah, you know you're going to take that. Up to 5 damage. Mm -mm -mm. And now, with our height advantage, Mick Mac has his sniper rifle, so he's got 100% chance there. He's taking it. As soon as the sniper rifle comes out, you know you're going to be in trouble. Looks like I unlocked an achievement for that as well. Is that taking a sniper out with a sniper? I think. And <laughs> another 100% shot. Mic Mac in boost mode. Only 4 damage. That's pretty low. How unfortunate. Okay. CB has another move. So maybe we can get close with CB. And... Uh, what can we do here? 58%, 55%, 48%. None of them very good shots, but this looks like the best one, unless I just overwatch. I might heal. 
the Exort pose no threat this turn. They're going to move into the area and with a little bit of luck the AI is pretty stupid so if I just make sure that I have all the angles covered I should be in a place where they rush in and then they get blown to smithereens. So some more regening. Well done for that mate, well done. It's not going to do you any favours whatsoever. Oh no, he's healed, he's not moved, he's staying there. Interesting. These guys, you've got to move forward. Oh, into an overwatch shot. That'll do. Again, should be straightforward. And, oh, where's this guy going? Okay, so they are, the, the AI hasn't been totally stupid here. I mean, you know, don't get me wrong, they've still got a sniper on the roof to contend with, which is going to rain down hell on them. 49%, 48%, 81%. Hmm. 60%. Not great. Rookie, I'm pretty sure, has her promotion. Do I want to make sure with another kill, though? That's the question. Oh, maybe we can flank this guy. Does she get the flank? No. Why does she not have the flank on this guy? And only a 65% shot. Well, that sucks. Can we whittle him down so that our rookie has a better chance at a kill? Gupta's got to move to the next transmitter, so he's going to just leg it all the way over here. There's no overwatch to contend with. Nikki CB, what are we going to do with you? Maybe... Ah, oh, here we go, here we go. This might be a run and gun situation. Where can he get to? See, I think run and gun is the move. And I think here is the move as well. The danger is if I go... Oh, shit, actually, where do I go? There's, no, there's nowhere I can go without having to kill two guys to guarantee that I'm not going to be flanked. So Sheehan's actually in a tough spot here. I think this is the best place for me. That was a little bit of overkill, but, you know, needs must. Hmm. Ooh, okay, here's an idea. This must be a flank. This must be a flank. Yes. 100%. That's the type of shot I like taking. Do I suppress? No. Mm. I think you just take the 100% shot, don't you? Do I take Panagos first? Oh, that is good. Adrenaline Surge. You're no good with the Adrenaline Surge, I'm afraid. Nikki CB is going to take it to the cleaners. Six damage. Nine crit. She got the crit. That is good. Now, the reason I didn't take the shot with uh, Johnny McMack is because I want to spread the kills around a little bit. I could have probably taken this guy out relatively easily but it's one guy he's not going to kill any of my soldiers in this turn just he's just not cool a 37% shot is it worth it no it's not so a few overwatch here three to be exact oh you idiot you real idiot. Okay, that's one missed. 
come on. We're going to have to have someone to... Here, here come the shots from the roof. Micmac, you can't miss this. Five damage. And is dead drop. We're going to get some more. No, he just moves slightly out of Overwatch range for dead drop. So we've got one more enemy. Dead drop's got this shot though. Come on. Beautiful. So that's three enemies. Oh, they're dropping them on the roof now. Interesting. You're not going to last long. Right in the open. Oh, can I not see the one on the roof? It was me thinking that Micmac would be able to get the one out on the roof, but evidently not. So that one might actually prove a little bit tricky. Let's take out what we can. Doug Sheehan is probably the worst off in, in the position that he's in at the moment, so I might move him last so that... Why do I move him first? The benefit of moving him last is the fact that everybody else has taken their shots so I can work out what enemies are left. I don't necessarily have to move Doug right out of the way first, but it might be an idea to just take this guy down. I've got a shotgun. A shotgun to the face is, is, is a good thing. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Is this going to protect me? The answer is not that might though. I can't run and gun, that's the only problem. Oh, forgot about the overwatch. Just as well I've got lightning reflexes. So he's running, he's got the flank, 70% chance of crit, and this is going down. He's not going to survive a shotgun shot like that. And he's proct adrenaline rush. So we get a bit of a combat surge for some of our troops, which is always nice. Now this is risky, because I would imagine the dead drop is going to be the least covered of all of my troops which means that this sniper is going to try and shoot him. He's going to be in half cover, but it is a hit that he's going to have to soak up, which means he better get promoted this damn mission because he won't be able to come on the next one. He'll be in the med bay. Running. Unless, of course, I can find a way of getting the guy on the roof. Gupta seems to be able to get people from this direction. Do I just take this guy out? Bye bye. The answer is yes, it's one less guy to deal with. And so now am I down to two? I think I'm down to two. This guy here and the one on the roof. Now I'm hoping if I actually move over this way... Right, what shots do I have? I've got 58. Mm, this pylon looks tempting. It's only half cover. Yeah, 47% is going to be a calculated chance. Oh. And this makes it a little bit easier. 58% shot. You're going to get it more than 50% of the time. Come on. Ah, not today. Not today. Step up, rookie. Step up. Oh, she's got an 85% sh shot on the sniper? Oh, and she missed it. That is bad. So I'm going to take some damage here. This is the first time that I've that the Exalt are going to 
be getting some shots on on me. Oh, but they're running straight into the area. You idiot, you've moved twice. Now this guy might take a shot at me. Oh, this is going to hurt. Flank shot. Not good. However, we do still have Micmac up on the roof. Johnny on the spot. He's got double tap still. So, I think the immediate danger is the sniper, so you can shoot at him twice. Or do I just take... Yeah, I, I take the sniper out, I think. Let's move to pistol, though, to conserve some ammo. In fact, I could probably kill both of them with a the pistol. Five damage with a laser pistol is pretty damn good. And this means... Who wants the kill? Who wants this kill? Uh, Nikki CB. Okay. I mean, we can just take our pick. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I think I want CB to get it. And we're back safe. And I think we need one more wave. And then we're done. So, reload, overwatch. I'm right next to a terminal, so <laughs> that's going to be my secret weapon next time around. Uh, let's reload with our rookie. Basinga baby can reload too. Dead drops in not a bad place on the roof. He can overwatch. And here they come. Yeah, Sheehan is not going to get the overwatch shot with a shotgun, is he? Do you know what? It would actually be nice. I, I know um, I've, I've contemplated on my next playthrough doing training roulette, and I wonder if something like um, gunslinger is a, is a skill that's available for assault uh, class. I know you can equip the assault class with a with a shotgun or an assault rifle, um, but I do like the shotguns much better from close range because their damage output is fantastic. But if you get gunslinger as well, then it makes them. Uh, able to have a little more sustainable damage from longer range. Oh, covering fire. What? I didn't realise that was going to happen. Dead drop, you better hit. Bastard. And the ginger beard prevails. Ah, so I should have done this first. I should have done that first. Because I'm guessing that would have removed the cover fire. Oh well, Dead Drop's taken some ammunition to the face for no reason. Ah, uh, is it... I've got four more. <laughs> I'm hoping I can mop this up this turn. I should be able to, right? 100%. Shot from you, and then Gupta can clean up. Another pistol kill. I'll tell you what, one one thing that uh, that I am quite pleased with is Gupta is getting some kills on these assault missions. Micmac has two shots, and... I'm going to use one on this guy because it's a guaranteed kill. He's down. Oh, do I not? I thought I would have had uh, another shot. Evidently not. And we're down to one. So, <laughs> Doug Sheehan is going to do what Doug Sheehan does best. And he's going to run and gun. And he's going to introduce you to his rather big friend. Namely, Scatter Laser. And rapid fire, two shots, six damage, and another six damage. And we're not picking up any other exalt forces moving in the area. Another job well done. And we're 16 and 0. 16 exalt. Officers killed. 
zero on our side, which I think we've come to expect at this point, but we did take a couple of shots, we did take some damage, so we're going to have a couple of guys in the med bay, hopefully they got a promotion to soothe their pain, and then we'll drug them up with goodness knows what, a lemsip, a couple of aspirin maybe, and then ask them to go for a long walk in the fresh air, they'll be fine. I'm certainly impressed with the results so far, especially considering the conditions down there. So, Dead Drop has been promoted, as has Bazinga Baby. Bazinga Baby, we're going to make into a field medic, and her aim is now up to 82, which is pretty good. I'm not going to argue with that, that's, that's not too shabby. Dead Drop has been promoted to Corporal, so he gets Bullet Swarm or Hollow Targeting. I might try mixing it up now. Uh, I've taken Bullet Swarm with a few of my heavies. Let's let's give Hollow Targeting a try. And Sophia Panagarkos is going to have the helmet removed um, and will become a proper trooper in her own right with her own proper name from one of my subscribers in the foreseeable future and is an assault, so we'll be uh, getting run and gun. We picked up a few weapons here. Ah, oh, I like the fact that these weapons are upgraded to laser as well. Some laser assault rifles, sniper rifles. That is nice. Now if I go to the cover operative, we have a choice of two places. So we are very, very, very close now to discovering where the alien base is. It's going to be in Japan or Australia. Now, do I want to do one more scan? to make sure and that means one more exalt mission before we go to their base I think I probably do now if memory serves I need to let a few days roll on you can't just scan for an exalt cell straight after coming back from an exalt mission it's usually wasted money tell me if I'm wrong though that's just my my uh, my view that's my that's my thoughts uh, we're looking okay for base management at the moment We've got plenty of power, uh, we've got some steam there that we can build another thermo generator in and that should do us for power for the rest of the game I would imagine. I'm going to leave the base building. Uh, we did have one more soldier to upgrade, that was Dhruv Gupta, who <laughs> has done nothing but exalt missions I, I think pretty much. He might have been on, he's done five missions and he's got 11 kills. So in five missions, he's gotten all the way up to Colonel. Now, I know he didn't start with us as a Colonel. He was uh, um, uh, a trooper that came to us as a reward for another mission. But, you know, 97 aim, it's not too shabby. Let's give you the uh, the Sniper Black. Will 101. It, he's, he's turned out into a very solid acquisition. And let's see what else we've got. We've got one, two, Bel Air. I want to think about upgrading my mechs. Rockefeller is decent. Winfrey, yeah. I'm just pleased that some of these guys have got much better aim than you would give them uh, in the standard game. If you play without the second wave option, is it... Um, not created equally and hidden potential. Not created equally means they all have different starting stats, as opposed to on the vanilla game where they all have the same, where everyone has the same the, the same starting stats. And then hidden potential varies the um, gains that they get every single level. So you can have troopers like um, Oreo Winfrey, who's a heavy that's got 82 aim, um, or um, I think some of the Assaults, generally, the assaults and the heavies tend not to have as good aim as the supports and the snipers. But you know, we've we've got some we've got some decent uh, some decent characters in here. I'm just making sure that all of my um, all of my troops have got good base weaponry. Now that we've got some uh, a minimum of uh, of laser weaponry for uh, the majority of our troops, I want to make sure that everyone has a decent weapon so I don't have to keep pissing around and we're re-equipping them all the time. So um, I do also like the look of these heavy lasers. They, they, the, the assault ones look pretty nice, right? As do the rocket launchers. See Dead Drop, he's, he's only a corporal and he's got 71 aim. You wouldn't expect that from a heavy. 
Wetville jobs, we haven't taken on many missions. She's been on two, so this is someone that I need to keep in mind for, for future missions. And Sophia Panagarkos is going to get... Oh, I don't have any... Yeah, okay. And then we got a couple of new troopers in. I think the light plasma rifles for rookies is a good option because it gives them plus 10 aim, especially as th that girl's aim is 55, Jesus. And I think we're done here. A quick trek through all of our troops. And I think next up is to buy... Uh, what was it? It was a scatter laser, wasn't it? Or do I want to buy anything else? Do I want to upgrade? So Bel Air is in a Mech 1 Warden suit, and I've got a Mech 2 suit as well, but I need more meld, I need more... Do I want to give more genetic modifications to people? Hmm, who deserves some more modification? Nikki CB maybe. Bioelectric skin, muscle fiber density. No. I can maybe give someone else adrenal neurosympathy. I, I quite like the fact that that buffs all of your teammates. And if you have multiple teammates with the same skill, does it stack? I know it says that the, the effect can't happen more than once every five turns, and to be perfectly honest with you, are there that many missions which last, what, ten turns? Or, well, not necessarily ten turns, but seven or eight turns so that it could potentially trigger twice? I don't know. We're going to give it a go. I like the skill, I like and, and I like the idea of having several troops with that skill. It just gives, you know, a, a fairly persistent buff to people nearby, which is nice. So, we have one day for satellites, three days for plasma rifles. Carry on. Plasma rifles is going to be a good one. There we go. Plasma rifles is huge. And we're in a position where we may be able to take on the alien base. I want plasma weaponry before I take on the alien base, so the men are calling let's sort out this autopsy the first. Although it shares the same structure as the Muton, for reasons yet unknown to us, the Berserker seems to be consumed by bloodlust with little regard for its own safety. So I think once you've done the alien base, you, you want to make sure that you've got some decent weaponry. If you do it really early on, then I think you're fine with lasers and light plasmas but we've already hung around for a while you know messing around with a few exalt missions and a few council missions so you're almost at a stage now where the enemies that you're going to trigger in the alien base are probably going to be strong enough that you want to wait until you get plasma weaponry so that is what i'm going to do i don't think i'm going to do anything with my mechs i can't upgrade uh, what do I need to upgrade? Uh, it's for a level 3, I need 60 mil. Ah, oh, I might be able to upgrade Derek Belair. Do I upgrade Derek Belair to level 2, or do I wait for th a th level 3 mech? I think I am going to wait for a level 3 mech. And do I want to go to the grey market and sell some stuff that I'm not going to use? Anything worth selling? Not really. Hmm. I mean, I've got 171 credits because I got a bit of a rebate from one of the projects that just completed. Do, 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 do. Questions, questions, questions. Fusion lances. Uh. 
I'm just making sure I have a few buffs for my ships because we haven't got great ships at the moment. So the buffs do help out. And it gets rid of some of the corpses. Flashbangs. Mm. I'm not the greatest fan of flashbangs. I don't think I need to spend this 96 credits. Although I do like those plasma rifles are really quite expensive. God damn it. If I'd have thought about it, I wouldn't have bought that other stuff. I would have just gone straight for a plasma rifle. Mm, not good. Maybe I can sell some stuff to get at least a plasma rifle. I've got loads of Seeker X. I don't need all that many. Uh, I have loads of flight computers. Could I sell a UFO power source? We're going to do it. We've got 346 credits. So that's going to be enough for two plasma rifles. That's going to have to do. And they will probably go on my support troops. Maybe maybe my lower level assaults. I don't know. But I think Yeah, Nikki CB's got 88 aim. She can she can rock a plasma rifle and a laser pistol. There we go. And carapace. So Nikki CB is tooled up when she comes out of the genetics lab. Let's scan. What? A council mission straight away? I don't get the... Commander, I... we just received a priority oh, one request great. from the council. A bomb disposal mission. I hate bomb disposal missions. Excellent. The reason why I hate bomb disposal missions is because they make you have a little more urgency and make moves a little sooner than you'd like so you uncover loads of extra aliens. God damn it. Right. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with my troops. Um, I may keep the same squad. I may keep a very, very similar squad to this. I might change it around a little bit. It's a bomb disposal mission, so we shall have to wait and see. But thank you ever so much for watching. I've been the Beanie 101. This has been XCOM Enemy Within. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button if you want to see some more of my XCOM content. And I'll see you again soon.